the brilliant Jessica Foster Q. <laughs> This is nice. How are you? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah good. You're about to get more all right, because uh, I actually... Um, I start with a bit of flirting with you. <laughs> but it will be feminist flirting. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name? Carlin. Can I just say, you look like, um... really fucking clever. <laughs> oh. Great. Um, hello, what's your name? Sonny, I'm getting this vibe off you that you're like st strident as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, what's your name? Ryan, you look compliant. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, actually, the old feminist flirting, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. I know how hard it is because I had some tried on me. Um, I was at the gym and everywhere I went in the gym, this man kept creepily moving to next to me. My friends after the fact have promised me this definitely was flirting. Anyway, he keeps moving to next to me. After about the fourth or the fifth move in, he says, do you know what, I might regret it, but I'm just gonna say something. I went, you could not. <laughs> so obviously he carried on. And he said, uh, it's just that uh, you look really hench. <laughs> Thank you for my compliment. <laughs> Why am I trying not to cry? <laughs> I've learned that not everybody knows what hench means. Um, hench just means big and muscly, so it is a compliment. <laughs> for men. <laughs> but intellectually, I know if it's a compliment for a man, it should be able to be a compliment for me too, shouldn't it? So why wasn't it feeling like a compliment? <laughs> well, the man carried on with his flirting. For context, I was doing pull-ups, which I don't know if you know, are actually very hard. Uh, so out of integrity, I was making them look very hard. Not unreasonably, he said, uh, it's just you're making those look really hard. And uh, I used to find those really hard as well when I was really heavy. <laughs> Compliment! <laughs> Why well, try not to cry? <laughs> I think even if it's 2019 and that the person you're flirting with is definitely a feminist, even then, first 20 words, leave out heavy! We're not ready yet! <laughs> Other cultures much better at celebrating the henchness of a woman. Uh, Mongolia, and that's it. <laughs> But Mongolia's cool. Uh, in Outer Mongolia, where people are living in yurts in extreme weather conditions, they have this thing where when their kids are nine or ten years old, they uh, meet up with a tribe that they're friendly with and they sort of line their nine and ten year old kids up and make them choose their future spouse. That's not the cool bit. Um, <laughs> the cool bit is, um, because their lives are so outdoorsy, <laughs> the number one thing that the, the, the nine or ten year old little boys have to look for in their future wife is sturdiness of leg. <laughs> I learned this from a film I was watching years ago with my then partner who turned to me and went, you'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my compliment. <laughs> Why am I trying not to cry? <laughs> uh, but now I'm actively getting hencher. Like, I go to the gym all the time. I'd go every day if I had time. It could be to escape from my child. <laughs> I like it so much in the gym that I've even had a personal trainer for a bit. What a prick. <laughs> but this is how she got me. She was running classes that I really liked, and then at the end of one of the classes, she said as part of her sort of bants, um, oh, you know, I have got a bit of availability as a PT still, if anybody's looking, I've got a few gaps. Want to know how to get a bikini body? And I thought... <laughs> Do you know what? Good on this personal trainer for taking me on because I am a weirdly open and honest with these people. Before you do any exercise, they have to do like a consultation on you. And she said, what do you want to get out of this? And I was very good. I said, I just want to be really strong. <laughs> um, but then I carried on and explained. But I've got a sort of history of mental health stuff when it comes to my body. So never tell me what to eat. Never tell me what not to eat. Never comment on my body size. Never make me look at myself. Never make me weigh myself. Also, I don't like being out of breath. <laughs> Weightlifting it is. <laughs> and we had an amazing time. We, we worked together for over a year. I got on really well with her. She taught me loads. I had a great time. And then we hit a little bump in the road. We were, we were, we were working out together one day in the gym. And also in the gym, there's this extraordinary woman, this badass athlete. She was like, off the charts, 
wicked, right? She was flipping this 200 kilogram tire around like it's a little <laughs> feather. And between every sort of 10 flips, she's just stopping and doing a load of squat thrust burpees. <laughs> if you don't know what they are, um, you can look them up on YouTube later, but prepare yourself for a wank. <laughs> She was making them look as hard as blinks. She was incredible. So I said to my trainer, oh my God, have you seen that amazing woman? And without thinking, my trainer just sort of went, mm, I don't think she looks very feminine. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's just not what I thought that she would say. Like, that's the sort of thing I'd expect my mum to say. Because it's exactly the sort of thing my mum says. <laughs> but it's not what I thought that a uh, sort of woke millennial woman who works in fitness would have as an opinion of an athletic looking woman. So I called her on it, of course I did. And in fairness to my trainer, she remembered who she was talking to and she shat herself. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean she doesn't look very feminine? And she was like, oh, um, I suppose like, I mean like, uh, I suppose I mean like she's got, uh, she's got, sort of, uh, she's, she's, she's got sort of, a lot of, sort of, sort of like, quite sort of big chunky legs. I was like, excuse me, <laughs> not the Mongolian princess bride over here. <laughs> I can push a car. Not these three years. She went, oh, not like those. And maybe like, um, I suppose, I mean, she's also got, uh, she's got like a, she's got like a, like, sort of like quite a big, big neck. I was like, no one chooses a big neck, do they? No one's ever gone out to get a bigger neck. No one's ever gone, oh, have you seen Luke? He's been down the gym and he's doing too many head ups. <laughs> I said, is the problem that she looks strong? She said, no, the problem is she looks big. And I was like, oh, so it's fine for a woman to look strong as long as she still looks hungry. <laughs> and I thought they cut the conversation and the training session off because I think as much as it's good to see an extra two women in the weight section of any gym, it's sort of undoing some of the progress when two of them have gone purple and started crying. <laughs> My name's Jessica Vosky. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jessica Vosky.